my God. Hold on. I have to put a filter because I need a filter. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to the screen. Spoil alert. Spoil alert. The winners of season one <laughs> making the cut. Johnny Coda. Hi. Thanks for having Hi, me. How are you? Uh, I mean, incredible. It's kind of like the best weekend of my life, right? <laughs> right. Congratulations. I was a huge fan from the beginning of the show, and I was like, everything you like threw on the runway was amazing. Like, it's very like on brand. Like, it's everything I would wear. Oh, know? awesome! Awesome! Like, awesome! Everything I would wear. So, how have you been? How has this uh, journey been? <sighs> It's been so insane. You know, it's like I, we wrapped this last summer. So I've yeah. held this secret with me the whole time. You know, I had like the most life changing moment ever happen being like, you're the winner. And then like, I fly home to LA. Nobody knows. Nobody can know. I just go back to work, go back to the gym. Like nothing ever happened. So it's been weird, but now I can finally like share it with the world. And I'm stoked. I'm so happy. Yeah, it's just incredible. I have to say, before I did drag, I used to uh, run by Bar 107, which was near uh, Skin Grafts. So yeah, I was totally. Like, back in the day, I, I was a huge fan of all the stuff that was in the store there. And just watching the process of you, like this whole journey, like through everything, it's just been amazing, especially now because everyone's stuck at home. Yeah. And like, we really need to be like social and like connect with people. And I think reality TV is giving that to us. Because I you agree. see people go through all the emotions. Yeah, I agree. I was worried, you know, well, one, this crisis is pretty intense, but I was like, is this show going to release and feel so tone deaf, you know, because everyone's at home and it's like talking about shopping and stuff. But I think it did the opposite. Like yeah. we're home, we're looking for entertainment, like give us some freaking optimism. Yeah. <laughs> and so I think that making the cut did a really good job of like, uh, it was, I wanted to tune in every Friday. I wanted to see what was happening. You know, I wanted to watch Naomi tear everyone apart right. and then build them back up. So I think it was this weird, perfect storm that it's, it's, it's happening while everyone is forced to be home and it's giving some entertainment. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, I have a lot of friends who are like seamstresses and designers and like they tuned in on the show. I was like, you have to go check out Making the Cut. I'm like really obsessed with this show. Like we've been, like we watched it as much as we could. And like, like even, to the last episode, I was like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna, what, like, it's just bizarre because everyone is so great. The top three were amazing and so different from each other. I agree. I mean, it's like apples and oranges, you know? It's like everyone could have won and everyone deserved to win. It was just like, it came down to one vote. I am so fortunate, but the other designers were like, I mean, come on, Esther and Sunder. Yeah. Are yeah. fucking incredible. I mean, you know, they're just so good, you know? They're so great. And, like, there was, like, it, you felt the love between all three of you, exactly. You guys, like, really, like, appreciated each other. And, like, you you can see the bond that you and Esther had. Like, it was just so magical to see that, especially when we're all at home and, like, we need that interaction and all we have is our phone or our TV. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was just such a fun, like, journey to go with you every week, like, every Friday. Um, I... I Awesome. I think that's one thing that set the show apart from other competition shows was it was very genuine and like we really were helping each other out. Like we were all rooting for each other. Like, you know, I feel like it almost shocked the producers. They were like, wait, where's the drama? But like we were just, everyone just wanted to do their best, you know? It's like, right. yeah. What was the hardest thing filming this besides keeping the secret, obviously? Right. Well, um, you know, I've been doing skin graft and doing design for 15 years. I can send fierce girls down the runway and know that they're going to look good. But I didn't realize we would have to constantly, like, defend ourselves, discuss our inspiration with the judges. And when I say judges, Naomi Campbell, you know? And, like, <laughs> yeah. like all the judges are so fierce that you're like, oh, my God. So when they call you up and they want to talk to you, that is something I don't practice every day as a fashion designer. So that was really tough. But when I watch the, the episodes, I'm like, oh, Coda, like, you sound pretty well spoken. But in that moment, I was like sweating from everywhere, you know, yeah. it was hard. It was. Um, I have to say, uh, what would you suggest to anybody who wants to do, if there is a season two of Making the Cut, like, what can they start, like, working on right now? Like, any advice to anyone who loved your show and is like, oh, I want to do that. How do I do this? Like, totally. any, like tips? I'm just, just start. If you're just getting into design, just start. 
start to find your voice because really, I mean, even if you're casting a show, each person has to be different. You know, Marta is covered in pink and Sabato is mature and sophisticated. It's like, like they need to color the rainbow with the cast, just like customers want to see a colorful rainbow of designers, you know? So it's like, make sure that your voice is uniquely yours and that it stands out. It makes you a great candidate for casting. And regardless of the show, it just makes you a better designer. Right. Well, I know you're busy. You're a busy bee going all over the digital world. Um, where can fans find you? Like, what, what, are, what are we looking forward to like, like from here on out? Like, where can we catch you? Where can we buy your stuff? Also, I'm very mad because as soon as your first dress uh, went up, I went straight to go look for it and it was all sold out. I was like, oh! It's been crazy. <laughs> Everything has sold out. The winning episode dresses have all sold out. I have been working on my finale collection to launch to the world yeah. for six months and it sold out in 24 hours. Like I couldn't even post my campaign video that I was so excited about before it was sold out. So follow me on Instagram, Johnny Coda, and um, I'll be posting updates. We are working really hard to replenish inventory on Amazon. I'm working with um, jewelry, like jewelry places and perfume places. I'm working with in all the different categories to launch all this cool shit in the next few months. So just keep in touch. I will let everyone know. Yeah, thank you so much, Johnny. I, again, uh, congratulations on everything. I'm a huge fan and I'm gonna continue like seeing everything that you post and like, like everything because I just, I'm a huge fan. Awesome, darling. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, have a good one. Bye, babe. Bye.